I know this is incredibly frustrating for you, but just bear with us, okay? If we know what's causing the fish, and we know how to treat it. Um, to move things along, I've arranged for you to work with a speech therapist. She's going to be here first thing in the morning. And after she's done, you're going to be stuck with me and my flashcards here. So these are just pictures of everyday things, and it'll give us an indication of all the words that you remember, and then the ones that you're going to have to relearn. If you're not too tired afterwards, um, tomorrow I have work off. No. No? No. Uh. Right. You want me to sit? Well, you want to do these right now? Cool. Okay. Ryan, how are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. Thanks. Hey, how's Jillian? Is she up for a visitor? Well, why don't you ask her? Are you dressed yet? Or are you still gloriously naked? Well, I wish I could be there to help zip you up after I'd given you that wonderful afterglow. You can count on it. No, not much longer. I have a few more patients, then we'll be back to change. Of course, we want to be fashionably late. We want our first entrance as a couple to be unforgettable. She's still having trouble with her speech. Some of the things she says, uh, I've never heard of. Well, could it be Hungarian? I don't, know. I don't think so. I mean, I've run some of it by Eugenie and doesn't register. Oh. Does she understand us when we speak to her? I think she understands everything. Yeah. Hey. Now, how do you manage to look like a cover girl even when you're in ICU? Thank you. Jake was just filling me in about this aphasia thing. Couldn't have sprained your ankle on something simple. I was in the accident, too. How come you're getting all the attention here? Oh, right. Um, I got you this in New York. Can I No, no, go ahead, open it. Go ahead, it's, it's nothing, you know. Nothing major. Yeah, it's a football jersey. Remember when I was trying to teach you football? Do you remember that? I thought you'd like it. Ran home. Oh, that home run! I think you're trying to say yeah, that's baseball. That's that's very good. This football. When you score in football, it's a touchdown. Yeah, do you remember that? Well, I'm, I'm glad you like it. So, uh, can you say my name? Good, actually. That's very good because she was looking for a word that means you, and she still cares about you. You're in her heart. Yeah. You're still in my heart too, princess. Always. Uh. Well, I, I don't want to run you down. I'll let you. I'll let you get some sleep. I'll be back. I'll be back soon, I promise. All right, if we're going to do these flashcards, let's get on it. Well, you don't have to stay. I'll do it. I don't have anywhere else to go. Sure you do. I heard Edmund ask you to Cortland's party. Oh, yeah, that was a momentary lapse into insanity. I'm sure he instantly regretted oh, it. Oh, come on, Alice. Look, I've seen you sleeping in the on-call room. Go, go, go have some fun. You know, it's when I try to have fun that I miss Dimitri the most. Oh. Looks 
I'm sorry, but Edmund's gonna be there. I'm sure he wants you there, too. It'll be fun. No, 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 it's not the same. Well, I think Demetria would approve, don't you think? I don't have anything to wear. Well, I think what she's trying to say is that she, she, you could wear something of hers, right? Alex, if you don't go, you're gonna have one very disappointed patient on your hands. All right. <laughs> Good. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Now, don't go overboard with the flashcards. I want you nice and rested for the speech therapist, okay? Have fun. Yeah. I was just going to check on Jillian. Oh, no, I, I don't want you in there. I told you it upsets Jillian to have you in there. And I told you, as her surgeon, I'm the one responsible for her post-op care. Yeah, well, if there's any indication of cardiac dysfunction, you will be the first to know. In the meantime, I'll do as many post-op follow-ups as I deem necessary. Saw the way she reacted the last time. I won't allow it to happen again. It's not good for her. Just because you've been put on staff, Dr. Diva, doesn't give you the right to issue me ultimatums or give me orders. I will not have you be... I beg your pardon. I was just telling Dr. Marek that I need to check on Jillian Andrashi. But Dr. Marek is the attending physician here. She says you're not to see her. That's it. You have to abide by her decision. Thank you, Joe. Fine. Hold on, David. I'm not finished. Aphasia, or difficulty expressing thoughts and understanding spoken or written words, results from damage to the left side of the brain, which controls language. Edmund? They say it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Can we still go to the party, or am I too late? Actually... Your timing is perfect. <laughs>